State finals for Michigan 11 player high school football are this weekend, and the UP will be represented there by the 11 and 2 Menominee Maroons. Their matchup against Jackson Lumen Christie won't be an easy one, but I caught up with the team this week to see how they're feeling heading into the weekend. After a big win over North Muskegon in state semifinals, the Menominee Maroons will play in their first state championship game since 2016 and look to win their first since 2007. That game was one of our toughest all year for sure. They were great competition, they were strong up front, they had a great backfield and quarterback. We knew what we were doing when we were going into it, that it was going to be a tough game and we needed to put everything out in the field and that's what I think we did. We left everything out there. We knew if we did we would come out on top and I think that showed at the end of the final score when we won. The team did a great job last week put us in position to move forward, but uh, I think on this whole run, it, each step gets tougher and we got tougher, and so we've been getting better each week. We'll have to take another step this week and get better uh, after a great week last week. With big scoring outputs in the first half of each playoff game, setting the tone early has been key to the Maroons' success. I think it's very important to get out to the lead because it kind of defeats them early and then Sometimes they just give up or, you know, lay down and quit. Setting a tone is extremely important to us. Um, we think that laying the hit on someone on a kickoff, they're not even watching. You know, they're, they're trying to keep themselves for the rest of the game. No. We are hitting you right away. We are hitting you hard. We're hitting you fast. We're showing you what we're about. We're UP teams. You play hard. We play quick. With a matchup against one loss, Jackson Lumen Christie on their plate in the championship, the team isn't letting their foot off the gas. Uh, I think it's definitely been more intense, you know, higher stakes, so I think we've all been more locked in than past weeks. Well, I think everyone's coming out with a upbeat energy, you know, win last week, won the state championship out of the 130 teams in Maroon history, only six have ever done it, and we're one of the six now. You know, it means a lot to everyone here, me personally, it means a whole bunch to me, a lot of work in the offseason for everyone here, including myself, so there's a lot of energy coming out of practice right now, a lot of hard work is being put in for this week practice. We're focusing on keeping the line at bay. They have a very strong line. They're very big, strong. They're just some powerhouses over there and we know that we can keep them at bay. We just got to play our game. Jack Lou and Christy, great football program, great tradition, very well coached. Uh, we're going to have to beat them and in saying we got to beat them, they, they're not going to give anything away. They have great players. Uh, they're in the right spot. Uh, so our guys know that we have to go make plays. With UP-wide support behind them, the team is hoping to cap off their season by notching their own spot in the history books. They dream of it, but it's coming to reality this weekend. So our booster club, our school, our community uh, has just been showing great love and uh, support that we have. We're so proud to be Maroons, and everyone is in the community, even in the Marinette community, is showing great support. Across the UP, other programs have been showing great support. Uh, because it is UP power. Uh, so the love that we feel is definitely uh, just awesome. I think it'd be the best feeling ever. You know, I've grown up Lions fan and it's always been my dream to make it to Ford Field and it'd just be so surreal. They're big, they're fast, they're strong. Um, we're faster though, we're faster. We've got a lot more heart than them, I can tell you that. You grow up with these guys your whole life. You know, I can tell you memories from with the seniors when I was in third grade. You know, it's it's more than just football to us. It's it's brothership. It's it's companionship. It's it's you know uh, a communion of people who care about each other, have known each other their entire lives, and have one goal in mind for each other, and it's to win a state championship together because of how much we mean to each other.